Hi there. Uh, so this is Subbu. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, wish you happy new year and uh, welcome to Azure migration video series. Uh, in this video series, we are going to cover all the important concepts of migration uh, from on-prem to Azure SQL and uh, with live demos. Uh, this is the part one. In this video, we are going to see the introduction of Azure migration, the main uh, 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 agenda of uh, this uh, migration is okay. So why to migrate? Importance of uh, upgradation planning and different methods and approaches. So the first, why to migrate? The most the to move from outdated system to the system that is designed for the modern data means so uh, the hardware or software or our sequels of our versions. So need to upgrade to the latest uh, versions latest compatibility with the latest features is your version of sql server still supporting by microsoft that is also we need to consider whether my our sql server is uh, supported by the sql or its uh, support is completely stopped like for example 2008 2008 or 2 2005 microsoft stopped the support and the optimize the cost as the cloud computing is the uh, is now more cost effective it means that your it overhead with uh, while will be reduced significantly the maintenance the cost and licensing and software and hardware the fast time to market so so uh, one of the major advantage in cloud is so faster time to market thanks to the cloud you will uh, you uh, will be available to swiftly move your new and existing applications tied to the market Whereas in offline, like when you go for on-prem operating uh, operations, could take a days or even a weeks to uh, to move into the market. Store uh, store this data into the countries of the origin. Now have the availability to do so. So when you go to the cloud uh, computing, where you can keep your uh, data and your applications where throughout the global Azure uh, application, because uh, uh, Azure will support the geo globally, where you can place. Your, your backup for your data or your, you can recover your data if something goes wrong so that can be then higher uh, availability okay coupled with the context data backups and the recoveries allows for the zero regional and secure your data stories that is a major advantage we'll see uh, why why nowadays industry is uh, looking uh, over the cloud to move our data from on-prem to the cloud and one the importance uh, of our uh, upgrade plannings okay so while you start the uh, planning to perform the upgrade from uh, on-prem to on-prem okay from one server to another server or from on-prem to the cloud okay so what are the what are the key factors key components where we'll majorly look at means finding the upgrade blockers and the compatibility issues is the extremely important so first you need to identify the upgrade blockers and the compatibility issues is extremely very extremely uh, important for us before we planning to move our data from on-prem to the cloud so we are you we are going to use the dmv database migration assistant tool and the upgrade advisor when you go for on-prem we are using upgrade advisor okay and also understanding the features difference between the versions and editions okay understanding the license uh, difference between the versions and editions when you go uh, when compared from on-prem license to when you go for azure so will that license will be applicable on the cloud that is also we need to consider and the planning for finally migration to reduce the downtime so when you when you plan to migrate okay how you will re reduce the downtime whenever your uh, database sizes is having the terabytes of data so with any high ha and dr technique so even even microsoft provided a one -on one best uh, side where you can go and majorly look into so that is okay so when you go to the uh, data migration dot microsoft dot com so we have the uh, like uh, different components microsoft is supporting not only sql server when you go for oracle db2 mysql postgresql okay mongodb mariadb access okay so we have different components well while you are mi migrating data from on-prem to the 
cloud not only of uh, sql so we have different components which is supporting by azure okay when you go to the sql so we have again different methods different components where we can migrate to azure sql database azure sql database mi managed instance both are the pass services so azure sql database and azure managed instance are the pass services uh, we can also migrate azure sql on azure vm which is ias infrastructure as a service and also you can migrate the data to azure sql data warehouse and azure sql upgrade okay so we are going to discuss one by one and when you when you go to the process oriented when you start the migration so there are three phases so majorly you need to look pre migration steps okay uh, so and the migration so you start the migration the data and after the post migration so these are the three stages three phases majorly we need to consider when you start uh, performing or when you start uh, uh, performing the migrations from on prem to the uh, cloud pre migration a migration and post migration we'll discuss in coming videos we'll discuss uh, in detail okay in the in the series of our videos uh, now let me assume this is your on prem or where you where you have your own uh, uh, virtual machine or the physical server where you are hosted your sql server on that virtual machine or physical server and you start migrating the data you start migrating the data to the azure vm so which is uh, like a uh, lift and shift method where you can take the backups and you can directly restore using the uh, uh, when you go for azure sql vm like it is a lift and shift and we have a pass services as well when you go for pass services like a single database azure sql database azure elastic pools and azure managed instance it is like it is this method also like a lift and shift method where where mostly all the all the almost all the uh, features are compatible will be uh, available in the managed instance okay next back to the slides again okay so uh, these are the methods and the approaches will follow uh, when we are migrating the data from on prem to uh, cloud okay so one is the import export uh, so our next is backpack so using backpack method we can export the data and database uh, data schema and data okay using import export also you can migrate the schema and data okay and the very familiar and very mostly properly used the tool is a database migration assistant it is a tool where you need to download and you can uh, start uh, migrating the data using this tool and uh, we have one service which is available in the cloud a platform you can use the service azure data migration service it is a service where you can use to migrate the data either you can migrate the data using offline or you can migrate the data using online okay so and uh, we have one more concept called replication so where we can configure a transaction replication to migrate the data from on prem to the zoo and the backup to url so where you can create the storage account uh, storage account take the backup of on prem and keep the backup file dot bak file in the storage account where you can restore in when you go for azure sql azure sql or the azure vm and we, we okay uh, so we we can we have we can use one more method on prem vm to hyper v uh, vhds so where you can migrate complete your on prem vm to the azure vm okay on azure vm hope uh, this video uh, helped you okay and thank you uh, please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to get the notification whenever i added a new video hope next we are going next video we are going to cover the first method import and export yeah thanks thanks all